Salutations! Shammy, we gotta stop this radio show. We can't have people freaking out about aliens. My life's already inconvenient enough. You think looking this good just happens by itself? Why do you think I'm on the show if not to save your figurative bacon? Please, relax. There's gotta be something I can do about the UFO crazies who are gonna call the station. You know, something... explosive. All you need to do is disrupt them. These people always use public phones. But the DJ will announce their location at the beginning of each call. They should be easy to find. Then I get to make with the annihilation. Got it. Violence is not the only path, my son. You need only disrupt them. Their deaths are not necessary. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. Listen, you do your thing and I'll do mine, capiche? All right, time to listen in, find the crazies, and take them down. Make sure to get the calls off the air before they betray any conclusive evidence. It will not be hard for me to discredit them once they have... Disappeared. Welcome back. You've tuned into our newest program, Alien Overlords, Myth or Reality. We want to hear from you, our listeners. But first, let me introduce a man of some note, Mr. Guru Shamalama, leader of the relatively recent hardcore phenomenon. Tell us, Mr. Guru, why should we worship this Ark Boodle? Because Ark Boodle is Lord of the Sacred Crutch. His benevolent love knows no boundaries. Please go on. He who accepts Ark Boodle as his personal lord and sexual savior can achieve unprecedented sexual prowess and prosperity in all matters of the groin. His These recent conquests include weapons. the planet of the Huris, where he seduced a race of white raisins from space. And time for our first caller. Jeff Scotland from Yard Bridge. here. State your hey, emergency. Jeff, what's the bus? May I speak to Officer Michael Hunt? To share with us today? What part oh, of T for Teen don't you understand? You mean spacecraft? No, it's the most craft. I got a man. Welcome back. You've tuned into our newest program, Alien Overlords, Myth or What's Reality. We want to hear from you, our listeners. But first, let me introduce a man of some note, Mr. Shamalama, leader of the relatively recent Ark Voodle phenomenon. Tell us, Mr. Guru, why should we worship this Ark Voodle? Because Ark Voodle is Lord of the Sacred Crutch. His benevolent love knows no boundaries. Scotland Yard here. He State will accept emergency. Ark Voodle as a personal lord Freeze. and a sexual Please. savior. There's a doctor here. Uh, uh, yes, I your name. No in all matters of the groin. His recent conquests include the planet of the Huri, where he introduced a race of white raisins from space. Time for our first caller, Jeff from Soho Bridge. Hello, Jeff. What's the bus? Do you have a testament about what you with today? Yeah, I'm the lady. I am not a fan. You mean space craft? No, it's a 
No, I'm not a bleeding mod. No, 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 no. Hello? Hello? Jeff seems to have been cut off. I believe I've heard of this Jeff before. He caused some trouble for our cooler some weeks back when he escaped from a local mental institution. Perhaps the wardens managed to pry him away from the rec room phone. Fascinating. Astounding. Stay tuned for more Alien Overlords, fact or fiction. Our next caller is Robert from Parliament House. Tell me, Robert, you're not loony, are you? Uh, no, I'm a public servant, actually. Much of a muchness these days, eh? But what's your reason for calling? Astral projection? Visitation? I get your call on Ten years ago, when I was in my room, firmly in the R, the really nothing like it. Yes, yes, go on. No, I, well, I looked up to my room, and I was there, but I was just a man in his face, staring at me, and over the eyes, waving his hands about like a crazy man, and was frightened to hold the big reported assassination of President Huffman. Oh, but the green man just there, waving his arms and standing like some kind of Absolutely fascinating. Can you speak to this green man? Hello? Hello? You're rooting me. You're having terrible luck with colors. I bet his sample was not more than dog poo frozen in a buggy. Our next door is Cynthia from Hyde Park. Welcome to the show, Cynthia, and for God's sake, please be sane. It's a well-known fact that people have encountered the events of the movie going crazy. We're not mentally equipped to deal with the idea that there are forces greater than ourselves. By the way, visible objects that are seen farther in the sky, who stand in judgment of our every move. The effort of it works in the book. They vanish. And I, for one, am not surprised. And so if you, Cynthia, are sane, one can assume you have not encountered aliens. What then is the reason for your call? It's a... Oh my god, what is that? Cynthia? Cynthia!